This is Warner Cello. In this video, I want to share with you my best trick to practice more joyful and better. Sometimes when you learn a new piece of music, it can be really exhausting and even boring, especially if you learn like a new orchestra music piece or uh, chamber music and what I'm doing and I can recommend this trick also actually when you just learning your solo repertoire yeah when you actually with every music piece of uh, is, it's possible to do it I'm using headphones and listening to a recording and I'm just playing to that recording and what is really important about that, when you're doing that, um, I would recommend to use uh, headphones which have noise cancelling. I like uh, these headphones uh, just because they are small, yeah, and um, when you have like big headphones, these are Sennheiser, I believe, when you have them, um, they also have noise cancelling, but when you wear them especially like when you play then the cello <laughs> this part is a little bit in in the way so what is also important that because not every noise cancelling headphone have this item of uh, this um, setting that you can adjust uh, how much you will hear from your environment with this method you have control o over your environment um, how loud will you hear the environment and how how loud not if you use normal headphones then the recording uh, you're playing to have to be so loud that your um, ears will bl bleed uh, to death so in the end when you then practice a new piece of music you um, will actually have the feeling you really play with the group of musicians or orchestra, whatever kind of music you will uh, play. It's uh, so much more fun. And you also learn so much faster the, the music with a piece of music. So I really can recommend to do it. And uh, what I also also actually doing a lot is when there's coming a difficult part then I will pause the music and play this this phrase um, again and again and if it's really difficult then I'm even slowing down the tempo of that uh, recording so there are a lot of tools out there actually I think even on Spotify you can slow down uh, the, the music without changing the pitch, what is of course really important. So I have here my noise cancelling headphones and um, here I have uh, two buttons. So I have these small buttons here and with them I can control how much I will hear from my environment. So for my cello, how much I will hear act actually the cello. And then I just have the normal volume buttons. And with them, I, of course, I'm just controlling the, the volume of the recording I'm listening to and I want to play together with, with it. So now it's perfect balance. So I will just start the recording from the beginning and um, play with it together. Yeah, and, and really the great thing about that is um, it's so much fun. It's already like you will have a, a real rehearsal with your ensemble or orchestra or what, whatever. And um, and you're learning the piece of music so much faster because, of course, you have the score, but th the, the information there is really limited. Uh, when you uh, play right from the beginning, 
together with a recording, then immediately you recognize, oh, okay, uh, often people play there more quiet or more loud or the tempo will be a little bit slower. Oh, there, there's the part where the first violin have um, his or her solo. This is a really great way and I really can recommend recommend to do it. So I hope this trick was helpful for you and please let me know if you have any questions and leave them in the comments and I would be also really interested into your tricks like yeah maybe you found out some amazing trick nobody knows of or it's not so common to to do it so please let me know and please share with us um, with, with the community what are your tricks and see you in the next video.